Hello everyone and welcome back to Revit Snippets. Great tips you can learn in just a few minutes. This video is brought to you by RV Deep Clean. Over 40 ways to clean and downsize your Revit model all in one place. Get a free copy today by using the link in this video description. Have you ever wanted to quickly delete all of the unused view templates in your model? For example, if I go to this model and choose view, view templates, manage, I can see there are about 10 or 12 view templates here, but many of them are used by only zero views. That means they are obsolete and I should delete them. However, there are templates like this one here. One view is using it, or maybe this other one also in use. I need to keep them instead of deleting. So let me show you today how to view a quick Dynamo script to delete all of those unused view templates in one go. That's a script here. Let me run this now. And you can see it has deleted 10 view templates for me now. If I go back to the model, go to view template management again, we don't have only two view templates that are in use. So let me show you right now, step by step, how to build the script yourself. By the way, if you are new to this channel, make sure to subscribe now because we do tutorials like this every single week. Okay, let's begin. Let me go to Dynamo now to do all that. Now it's a usual thing I normally do in my tutorials. Let's make now a way for Dynamo to read a text file that contains a Python script. We can then use a text from that file as a script input for this node here. And then it will just run the Python script that we have in the text file. Okay, with that out of the way, let's see now how we can put our logic for checking view template IDs into this test.py file. It's a text file that I have right here. And now the next step, we will go into Visual Studio Code, my favorite Python script editor for Dynamo. If you are new to this kind of workflow, don't worry. Just go down to this video description and use a link there to see my basic video tutorial on how to script things in Dynamo this way. It will also show you how to set up and use Visual Studio Code because this is really the best editor you can have for writing Python script to use later in Dynamo. The video will also show you step by step how to create and understand and use this Python script template that I have opened already. So that should give you all the information you need to then come back to this video and follow me from here. Okay, let's start scripting in here. The first step is to collect all the element IDs of all view templates in this model. So we can start by creating a new variable here for template IDs in use. Actually, not IDs, but ID integer values. So INT for integers. And for now, it will just be an empty list like this. Next step, I want to iterate through all the views in the model to get just a view template. So we can say for view in a new filtered element collector on this model. And here I want to get everything that is of the class of view. Coming out to here, I can say if view dot is template, then I want to go ahead and append to this list here the element ID of the view. Having done this, I can now maybe copy this list down to here, save the file, and just quickly check if I have the right elements. So let's run this now. Okay, that's done it. When I return to Dynamo, I see now 12 element IDs. Let's double check if I go to view and then manage view templates. These are all the view templates I have in the model. So I have here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 12. So that sounds about right. Another way to check this is to select one of them. So let's use this first ID there, 9589. Let's go to here, select my ID and do 9589. I can see now the name of the item is architectural plan. When I go back to view templates, subtly enough, that's one of the view templates I have in this model. So everything seems to have worked. Next step, we want to go down to here and check for the view template IDs that are in use. Before I forget though, let's go back up here and put in here integer value because we want to get the ID integers of view templates, not just their full ID object. Anyway, with that done, let's do another for loop here. It will be the same as this loop, so I can actually copy this one down, including the conditional statement below it. 
And this time, if a view is a view template, we want to continue to the next view in the loop because we have dealt with view template up here. So down here, there's no need to check them anymore. When the loop goes down to this line, I know that the view here is not a template. So let's see if it has a template applied to it then. We can say template ID equals to view dot view template ID, just like this. And then if the template ID we have there is not equal to none, that means this view has a view template being active on it. We then want to append the view just for now, for checking purposes, to the watch list. Like so. To see the views there, I can go here and replace this with the watch list name. Save the file, return to Revit, and let's check it again. So this time I have 46 items. Let's see if they are actually views with templates. For example, I can check this floor plan view here. The name is O2-floor, so it's this one here. And we can see it has no view template, so our check was incorrect. Let's fix it. To understand what's going on, I can say, instead of the view, let's append the template ID to this list. So let's save it and check it again here. Here we go. So now we know the check failed because actually all the view template IDs are not none. They actually are either a valid element ID for the views that has a template or they will be minus one for the view that doesn't have any template applied to it. That means we can now go back to Python and change this condition. So let's say template ID dot integer value. If that does not equal to minus one, then we want to see the view in the watch list. So let's check it now. Here we go. So now I only have two views. One is O1 entry level, this one here. And it does have a view template, as you can see there. And the other view is side floor plan. So this one also has a view template. So we're good to go. Actually, now that I can see it, we shouldn't name this one template IDs in use because here we are collecting the ID integer value of all the view templates regardless of their usage status. So let's change this now with the F2 key to simply template integer IDs. And down here, we want to get the IDs in use of the templates. This list now I can append to it the view template ID here because as we saw before this ID at this point it will not be minus one it will be a valid view template ID so of course you want to append it to the list of template ID integers in use it says integers there so let's also put in here integer value here we go now that we have both information sources that we need the view template IDs and the view templates ID is being used. We can now compare these to work out which IDs belong to view templates we can delete. So I can do another for loop here. So for ID in template ID integers. I keep forgetting this, but this is an integer value in the list. So let's say ID int. Next, we can do another condition here. So if ID int is in, template ID integers in use. Then of course we continue to the next item in the loop or to the next ID integer. Otherwise we should mark this ID integer for deletion. To do so, I need to have another list here. So let's say IDs to delete is equal to an empty list of element ID like this. With that in place, I can go down to here and say IDs to delete, dot append, or actually add a new element ID from this ID integer value. Now, let's check if IDs to delete will have anything for us. So let's save it here and check it now in the output. Here we go. We have now not 12, but 10 view template IDs. Remember, we had about 12 of them in total, and two of them are in use, so that sounds about right right there.
Let's now actually start deleting those IDs. So I can say TR will be a new transaction in this document of the name of delete obsolete view templates. Now that I have TR as a transaction object, I can now start it and then do doc dot delete IDs to delete. That will be the input to the method there. And then I can say tr dot commit. Here we go. Let's now save it. Back to Dynamo here. Check on view template management again. So you see here the list of about 12 view templates. We're going to run the script and see what difference it's going to make. Okay, so that's done it. The first change in the model will be here in the undo stack. I can see now that the transition name has appeared. Delete obsolete view templates. If I go to view template manager again, we don't have only two view templates, so everything worked. And that means my Revit model here no longer has any obsolete view templates. It only has the things that are in use. Anyway, if you are looking for this kind of scripts with the objective of cleaning up your Revit model to make it light and fast again, then doing this alone may not be enough. Instead, I would recommend looking at one of the Revit plugins that does model cleanup in a more complete way. For example, you can try RV Deep Clean, this one here. It's a collection of over 40 commands to purge and clean up your Revit file. For example, on the general tab here, I can do purge unused, remove unused scope boxes, clean up unplaced rooms, areas, and spaces, along with the boundary lines if they are unused. Or I can do removing secondary design options, pinning grid lines and levels, or purging unused and empty parameters. If I go now to the next tab for view operations, I can do things like removing view templates or view filters that are unused, deleting views not on sheets or removing sheets without any views on them. I can also remove any temporary views based on their names. Or going further, I can try to delete often tags, often dimensions, unused lifestyles, live patterns, or few patterns. Coming down to the links group, I can do things like removing invisible cat links, pinning rivet links, or moving them to the desired work sets in my model. So essentially, it does what Dynamo can do and more, all in one single place. Let's keep it a go now. Okay, so that's now done. As you can see at the end of the process, it has given me a summary of everything that has been cleaned up from my model. Things like unused room separation lines, area boundaries, unused fuel pattern elements, unused line patterns, or several views not on sheets, they have been deleted for me in one click. Even better, you can try RV Deep Clean completely for free. Just go down to this video description and use the link there to get your free copy today. Otherwise, if you just want to delete unused view templates for now, then this script will be all you need. Right now, it still depends on this external test.py text file. So let's change that. If I go to here now and do Control A, Control C to copy the text, Back to here, I can add a proper Python script node. Double click to open it and paste in here the full text. Maybe change it to Python 2 now for maximum compatibility. And connect the watch list to there. Maybe double click to rename it to delete it. View template IDs. That means I no longer need these nodes there. I can remove them now. And now just to test if this actually does the same thing, I can undo what we did to the model. Go back to here, run the script. And yes, I can see now that's the same number of obsolete view templates that I deleted from before. But now in this all self-contained script. So if you want to use the script straight away without rebuilding it yourself, just go down to this video description and use the link there to download the script directly. If you, however, want to focus on mastering Python scripting in Dynamo, then check out my full Python course in the video description. If you like this lesson and want more like this every single week, make sure to subscribe to this channel now. For now, have a good day and I'll see you 
in the next tutorial.